Hello everyone, this is Father Trey again. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us and to view this brief video. Today I would like to offer you a recap of St. Jude Parish's Hurricane Ida relief efforts that we've initiated thus far. We begin this video purposely right here in our church because as you know, at the end of every Mass on any occasion, no matter what, we always conclude with the words, our celebration of Mass has ended, let us go forth in peace and glorify God by our lives. We are commissioned, we are charged to go forth and bring God's good news to others, especially to those who are hurting in our parish and beyond. So along with trying to help those in our community who are hurting and also those who have taken refuge here from other communities in the state, we chose to partner, if you will, to adopt St. Margaret Parish in Albany and St. Thomas Parish in Springfield. This is where my good friend, Father Jamin David, serves as pastor. You may recall that we partnered with them and helped them out a great deal after the 2016 flood. Also serving at St. Margaret, St. Thomas, as associate pastor, our parochial vicar, is Father Paul Gross. So together with our men's club and many others from our parish, on September 5th and 6th in our parish hall, we collected all kinds of goods to bring to St. Margaret, St. Thomas. And then on Monday, Labor Day, September 6th, at a little after 11 in the morning, we headed out to make our delivery. Here's what our day looked like. We left Baton Rouge, as I said, at a little after 11 a.m. and headed east on I-12 to Albany, Louisiana, where St. Margaret is located. When we arrived, we were greeted by our men's club president, Mr. Mike Wilson, and then we eventually regrouped with our convoy of parishioners who had driven over. Because of your generosity, we collected and were able to deliver the following items. Gasoline, chainsaws, generators, extension cords, canned goods, water, flashlights and batteries, and a whole lot more. Also, because of your generosity, we collected and we presented to Father Jamin an envelope with $6,000 of gift cards and monetary donations. This was amazing, thank you so much. Everyone helped out that day, and it was a hot day, as you know, from the youngest of us to the oldest. I cannot thank you enough for taking time to stop by the parish hall to drop off your donations. And I can't thank enough Mr. Billy Francioni and Mr. Mike Wilson, who helped coordinate this effort and all of our parishioners who drove over that day and unloaded, sorted, and stored all of your donations. This project, although only two days and a few hours, is yet another example of the giving spirit of St. Jude Parish, and especially the spirit of our St. Jude Parish Men's Club. Now, it's not over yet, as we all know, not only for the people of Albany, but for people throughout the whole state of Louisiana, Albany, Springfield, and beyond. So please keep this awareness before you. And if you would still like to help, here are a few ways to do so. You can visit our St. Jude Parish website at stjudecatholic.org and click on Hurricane Ida Relief. You'll see ways to donate and updates there. Here are a few examples also. You can visit the St. Margaret St. Thomas website directly you can visit the St. Jude Catholic Charities, the Diocese of Baton Rouge Catholic Charities website. You can visit the Diocese of St. Vincent de Paul website. Or you can contact us directly here at St. Jude Parish. For those who are not familiar with where we are, we're located at 9150 Highland Road in Baton Rouge or on the corner of Highland Road and Gardier Lane. And obviously, you can call 225-766-766. 2431. Also, and this is where we really need help, on Sunday, September 12th, our men's club will be traveling back to Albany to prepare and serve 1,000 hot meals. We are in need of assistance that day also. If you can help, please contact either Billy Francioni or Mike Wilson, or again, you can call the church office. I will not be able to go with you that day as I will be here celebrating Mass Playing, praying with so many of you, and praying for our effort. However, we can certainly use your help, young and old alike. Just contact us if you'd like to help that day and go over. 
Again, thank you so much for all that you do all year long. Thank you so much for what you do in our community and beyond our community. Please know that you remain in our prayers. You remain in my prayers. Thank you for your contributions toward hurricane relief. And thank you for your sacrifice.